ambitious political goals to become the world's best cycling city are now bearing fruit. In the city of Copenhagen, I'm in the company of the cycling officer, Hendrik Lundorf. So the, the cycling history of Copenhagen is long, but if we zoom in on the last 20 years, there was a really big push to, to reinvigorate cycling in the, in the 2000s. Uh, the, the Cup 15 that was held in, uh, in Copenhagen in 2009 was a, a really big uh, event that um, made people understand the perspective and the possibility for cycling. So right now we're riding on one of the cycling superhighways of the capital region of Copenhagen. As you can see, lots of green because we're uh, out in the outskirts of the city. Uh, we're cycling to, to connect to one of the main routes, uh, Farmruten, which is the one that brings in commuters of an average distance of 13 kilometers per commute. So we believe that these uh, cycling superhighways are uh, actually a good, uh, a good solution for other cities to copy. The last 10, 15 years, we've really put an emphasis on on the surrounding municipalities who are part of Greater Copenhagen. And we believe the cycling superhighway is like part of the success is not so much about the technical solutions applied because that's pretty much straightforward uh, best practice design. But we believe it's a great case because it shows uh, the potential for regional cooperation. And one of the, the next big steps for the cycling superhighways would be to add more lighthouse projects in the sense that maybe somewhere we need to create a tunnel below a highway or maybe we need to build a new bridge. And of course, these are expenses that one individual, smaller municipality in Copenhagen cannot pay for. Um, so we hope for increased investment either at a state level or uh, at the European Union level, who knows?